going to begin tonight with breaking news. CBS News has learned the Commission on Presidential Debates plans to issue new rules for the rest of this year's debates after Tuesday night's face-off between President Trump and former Vice President Biden turned into a farce. While the commission has not formally voted on changes, an informed source tells CBS News members believe they need to act in the coming days after being inundated with complaints about a chaotic debate. Among the possible changes to the rules, cutting off a candidate's microphone if that person ignores the rules and interrupts another candidate or the moderator. Tonight, with 34 days left until the election, the candidates are back on the campaign trail, even as President Trump tries to clarify his refusal to denounce white supremacy at the debate, along with a group known to support it. We have a lot of new reporting to get to tonight. Our team of correspondents is standing by to cover it all. CBS's Ed O'Keefe is going to lead off our coverage tonight from Ohio. Good evening, Ed. Good evening, Nora. Biden's team says he'll be there for the next two debates under whatever rules the commission develops to try to contain the president's behavior. But the Trump campaign says he can't be moving the goalposts and changing the rules in the middle of the game. This new debate over the future of debates comes, as many seem to agree, we've hit a new low in presidential politics. The individual no, I, mandate was the most unpopular Vice, aspect of Obamacare. I got rid of it. I'd like and to, we will protect Mr. people. President, with I'm the moderator of this debate. And I would like you to let me ask my question. After a debate full of insults and interruptions, more than 73 of them from the president, the Commission on Presidential Debates said it's time for a change. Don't ever use the word smart with me. The question is, the question is, the radical left. Will you shut up, man? Listen, who is on your list, Joe? It's hard to get any word in with this clown. Issuing a statement today saying additional structure is needed to ensure a more orderly discussion at the next two matchups. I think it was just a, a national embarrassment. The chaotic debate followed Joe Biden onto the campaign trail today as he embarked on a two-state train tour. Campaigning in tiny Alliance, Ohio, he took a few more uninterrupted swings at the president. Trump has, uh, has no plans, no ideas. Didn't, didn't express a single plan that he had about how he's going to move forward. Mr. Trump Minnesota. had a different take. I thought the uh, debate last night was great. We've gotten tremendous reviews on it. The president was asked again today if he condemns white supremacists. He didn't do so directly, but did try to walk back comments about the Proud Boys, a far-right group that has supported white supremacist ideas. I don't know who Proud Boys are, but whoever they are, they have to stand down, let law enforcement do their work. He drew criticism, even from Republicans, for the way he talked about the group at the debate. So who would you like me to condemn? Proud Boys. Proud, and right Proud Boys. Proud Boys. Stand back and stand by, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, somebody's got to do something about Antifa and the left. His own party urged him to correct the record. Uh, I think he misspoke. I think he should correct it. If he doesn't correct it, I guess he didn't misspeak. I want to associate myself with the remarks of Senator Tim Scott that he put out earlier today. He said it was unacceptable not to condemn white supremacists. And so I do so in the strongest possible way. And today, Biden had his own message for the Proud Boys. Cease and desist. That's not who we are. This is not who we are as Americans. Now tonight, the candidates are in states that their parties lost in 2016. The president holding a rally in northern Minnesota, while that train trip took Biden through parts of Ohio and Pennsylvania, where he needs to boost his support. Nora? Ed O'Keefe, thank you.